We have just enough time for you guys to come up. So again, this is the inverse function, right? g of x represents f inverse. So that's the inverse. If that's the input of the inverse, that means that's the output of my function. Correct? The input of the inverse is the output of the function. So I can just replace my input as my output value of my function. Because if I'm, So I can replace that with um, uh, f of x with 4. Now I can solve for x. So if I square both sides, square both sides. Oh, shoot. I'm sorry. I didn't write this in there for you guys. That's very important. The reason why that's important is because you guys can see we're going to have a quadratic, right? And when you, fact, when you factor down your quadratic, you're going to have two solutions. Well, the only solution that we're going to consider is a solution where x is greater than or equal to 0. Well, there's two answers. I mean, but you have two answers, but I only wanted to consider the. Yeah, I, I apologize. I forgot to put that in. You will have that constraint. Obviously, you won't be working on it twice. Um, so we're finding f prime of 4. So therefore, now we know that of my function f of x, when I have 2, I'm going to get out 4, correct? So therefore, I can write the summary statement for g of x. My input would be 4, comma 2. Now, the last thing we know is we need to find, um, I need to find f inverse. So let's just do f of x equals the square root of x squared plus 6x. Let's rewrite that as x squared plus 6x raised to the 1 half power. Then by applying the power and the chain rule, I have 1 half times x squared plus 6x minus 1 half times 2x plus 6. Remember, the negative 1 half means it's going to go in now in the denominator. So therefore, if everybody's OK with me writing the final answer like this, everybody at least follows my mathematics with that. So that's my f prime. So now, following this, I have g prime of x equals 1 over f prime of g of 4. Well, I know what g of 4 is. g of 4, if g of 4, then my output is going to be 2. So that's really 1 over f prime of 2. Well, let's figure out what f prime of 2 is. 2 times 2 plus 6 divided by 2 times square root of 2 squared plus 6 times 2. Uh, and I didn't finish this up. So that's going to be 10 over 4, 16, 16, uh, that's 12 plus 4, so that's going to be 16 squared of 16 is 4. 4 times 2 is going to be 8. So therefore, I have 1 over 5 fourths. I don't want to write a fraction over a fraction. So I'll just multiply by the reciprocal. And my final answer is 4 fifths. Ta-da!